tutorial, we're going to learn how to paint trees, and I'm going to show you step by step how to get through those layers and how to find those light sources. Hi guys, um, as you just heard, we're going to be painting some trees. Um, the supply list should be coming up on there. You'll notice on, say, paintbrushes or um, what you need, like palettes or plates, there's two or three things listed. You only need one of those, and it's easier to start with everything in front of you before you begin. Um, as you can see, there I am starting to paint the beginning of the tree trunk. You'll notice I'm actually painting it really lightly, and that's okay. I do that because I don't really want to put too much on there before I have a kind of solid idea of what I'm doing. Um, you'll notice that the trunk is very thin at the top and quite thick at the bottom. There's going to be a bit thicker at the top once those branches come up, but you know it's all in due time. You'll see what happens there. Um, the other thing I should note is I have a gray background on the back, and that's because I painted it gray. Um, I didn't put that in the uh, supplies list because it's not necessary. I just tend to paint things gray in the background because I can see things better just in case there's there's something I want to add that's white or, or whichever. As long as your background isn't brown or green, you should be able to see your tree just fine. Um, even if you use different shades of green, it all depends. But we're going to just do this this way for now. And if you have a white canvas, that's perfect also. Um, you'll also see that I just drew in with my brush, painted in if you will, um, the, the branches. And I only did them very small because I don't want them to go too far in this picture because all the leaves at the top are gonna to do a lot more for your picture than any more branches will. I'm adding darker bits to my tree trunk because I want it to look a little darker before I go into the branch or the, the leaves. Um, and that's just because it's my own personal way I do something. You don't have to, but if you wanna follow along exactly, that's totally fine. Um, also, if I'm going too fast for you, if you're not at a specific part in the the video, then you're more than welcome to pause and continue um, once you're ready. So this part here, I just got my green. I didn't mix anything into it quite yet, I don't. Um, but all I'm going to do is dab around the areas that are a little bit darker. If you want, you can mix in some uh, black in there with your green, or you can mix in brown if you feel like having a more brown tinge to your trees and leaves. Um, but again, we are going to go darker a little bit on the edges and quite a bit lighter once we get into the rest of it. So your, your original green should be fine with this. You'll also see as I'm going that I am dabbing from the inside mostly, um, and then going out. And you'll notice that there's more little leaf bits that I'm putting in in the center than I am on the, the edges. And that's because there's going to be more light on that side too. You notice too, if you're looking at the brush, I'm really lightly dabbing. I'm not jabbing it in there anywhere. You want to protect your brush. So if you dab or even put your brush on the paper and then pull away a little bit, that'll keep your brushes safe and you'll use your brush a lot longer. Um, see now if you're noticing the top here when I'm painting, I'm putting very little dabs around but creating a shape at the same time. And that's how this tree is going to start looking more like a tree. You don't have to do the entire shape or anything of the tree until you get to the next set of colors. And that's what we mean about layering. You want to just layer the darker colors in first and then go in with the lighter. It doesn't mean that you have to stick with the lighter colors at the end if you feel like you need to add some more darker parts, but it does mean that you want to just follow those kind of rules of layers. Um, I mixed in some white and some green there to get a lighter color for the next tone of those leaves. And that's going to give you a little more body to your, your tree. And you'll notice it starts to look a little more full and that's what I mean by body. Um, you'll notice too that there you don't see me covering a lot of that dark green. There's little parts that I'll cover, but if you cover more of that than you need to, then it kind of takes away from bringing in those dark parts in the beginning. So 
So this also is a good place to pause if you feel like it's going too fast. I know if you have a bigger tree or have a lot more to do, then obviously, you know, you might need some more time, which is fun. And like I said earlier, if you don't have the, the same greens or the same, you know, browns that I do, that's okay. It'll just look a little different, right? And remember to play with your lightnesses. So if you have a lot of color there that seems either too light or too dark, you're more than okay to play around with mixing that white and that green together to get a more, a more suitable color. And remember, I said to you, I think a few seconds ago, that we can always go back. So you see there, I'm mixing in some green and some black. And I'm going in with a little bit darker around the inside, like I said, we'd kind of get to. I'm doing this now because I felt like I needed to get that in before I started with any lighter colors, because it was getting fairly light there. I am also kind of going in on spots that I haven't worked with before and going in and grabbing a little more color outside of my original shape. So those leaves kind of look like they're coming out of certain spots and it looks a little more random. And again, you don't have to worry too much about adding too many dark spots. Um, I'm kind of going a little crazy here because I like that look. But if you're feeling like you want to keep going adding more, then you go right ahead. I'm going to go ahead and mix this white with this green again and try and get a lighter color than I had before. So you notice I'm using little bits of paint at a time to mix my colors and that's because I don't want to mix too many colors and not have what I want. So little bits at a time, small steps. So the other thing I just want to kind of touch on is, is where I'm putting this lighter color. And it's generally on the top of where the little bushy parts of my tree leaves are and just in little spots where I think the light might be able to touch. Um, there may be a few spots that I might hit that, that I might go over, but we'll just start here and see how it goes. But just remember to always look at where those light bits might be. Um, leaves aren't always on the same side on a tree, so they'll be moving around and flipping. And so this is why I'm putting a little bit of extra stuff at the top here and I'm going around and again just putting those lighter bits just above where those darker and mid-tone colors are and by mid-tone I mean that green that's the middle between the light and the dark colors. Now I'm going to take some of this green and I'm going to mix a little bit more white in there to get a little bit darker of a green and go back in with some more middle ground medium green colors just to kind of fill in a little more without it looking too much like there's a whole bunch of light and a whole bunch of dark, but not enough middle. <laughs> I can say it better, but apparently that's how it's going to stay. Um, but yeah, so if you can see, it's actually just giving it a little bit more body there, a little bit more volume. And it's, it's kind of just rounding out the rest of this tree for me. And like I said, remember, dab very lightly. You don't need to jab your, uh, your paintbrush anywhere. If you notice too, I'm always using my paintbrush on the side rather than straight on. And that's because, um, as we talked earlier, to preserve that brush. Um, now you can see I'm putting some little green dots everywhere underneath the tree just to kind of make it look like there's some falling leaves around. And there we go with a little bit more of that brown. And I'm going to add a little bit to the branches here, just because I, I want to darken it a little more. Um, I may make this look a little thick, but that's okay. I just wanted to, to kind of play around with it a bit. You can do um, what you want here, but notice that I'm putting most of the dark on the sides and the bottoms and edges. Just because I don't want to get rid of all that light, just enough to make it look a little more like a tree chunk. 
here I go again with a little more green and white. And I'm going to just flick in. So you notice how I'm kind of flicking upwards to get that sharp kind of grass look. And it's very gently. You don't want to push the brush down too hard on the, um, the canvas. So you see how gently I'm doing that? And what that's going to do is make it look like there's grass all along the bottom of my tree, which make it look like it actually has a spot to stay rather than floating in a, in a gray canvas. And then I'm going to dab a little bit more because I just saw a few spots that I wanted to, to deal with. And I'm using just white here because I don't need, oh, we're putting some more green in there too, but um, I don't need too much on there. I'm just doing little extra detail points because this is the end area where you want to make sure all those little perfect spots are working for you. And I don't think it's too bad of a tree so far. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it for a beginning tree. And for those of you that are just starting out, this is a really good one to practice with. Um, you can always, you can, you'll find more detailed techniques for trees like this too, um, ones that can make it look a lot more realistic. But right now this is a great way to start and it's still a really decent looking tree for any sort of project you have. So there I go with really light colors, um, trying to make it look like there's leaves falling because I kind of like that. I did it before a little bit but I didn't use light. And then you can see I'm just going to go in with a little lighter whitey green um, just so I can make that look a little more normal because <laughs> you want it to look like it's sitting somewhere, right? I'm going to use some black and a little bit of green. A little bit more black. You're going to just kind of ping pong between colors a little bit to get the perfect color you want. Because I'm going to go in and just etch in some darker bits here so it doesn't look too, too light. And then I'm going to just dab in a few little darker areas around that tree. Get those really dark spots going. And remember you don't want to use too much black or too much um, dark color that you mix it with or else it's just going to look really, really dark or muddy. So just be a little careful about that. Um, if you do have another color or if you want to look for a color that will work a little better with, um, with your paints, sometimes try not using black but finding a paint called Payne's Gray. With beginner paint, um, that may not be a possibility, but you can also take black and mix a little bit of blue in it and it'll give it a little bit of a, a better color with whatever you're, like say if you're mixing with the green, it might help a little bit. It helps me anyway. <laughs> but yeah, so this is basically the rest, the little details. I'm just adding some light bits outside of where my shape is for the tree. So it looks kind of like it's a bit windy that day. There's some, there's some leaves falling down and that grass is kind of flicking everywhere. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of this brown and I'm always putting it on the, the thing to wipe off a little more than I need because if I have too much paint on my brush, it's going to just sludge everywhere, right? So you can see I'm just adding a little bit of dark in that tree to make it look a little more like it has some shadows in there. And then the last bit, I've got some brown and a little bit of white. Um, because I want a, a lighter brown to kind of really drive home that there's a little bit of light parts on this tree. Um, if you feel like you go too far with the light, um, which I might fix later if, if this doesn't work out for me, um, then you can always, always, always um, go back with that dark color. But I like how it ended, so that's the end of the video. Awesome job, and we'll see you next time.